Double Dragon. It's your boy Amen. Like him. Back with some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. Let's go. Get it, man. You cold? No. If you was cold, would you say? No. To this day, you gotta stay. You gotta <laughs> stay. You gotta see it through, my guy. That's crazy, bro. Back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You freezing. I'm good. What you about to turn the heat on? Uh, if you want to turn the heat on for yourself, that's fine. Uh, for myself? I'm good. It's, it's no problem for me. I've been good. I done been the coldest situations. You ever had the chills? Yeah. For like a long time? I got the vaccine shot, and then that night I got the chills, like bad. Like, were you? I uh, like you just shaking for constant. You don't stop for like, for I ain't stop for like probably 30 minutes. I was like oh, this. Dang. Was you under the cover? Yes, under two quills. I'm just. You turn the heat up? Yep, I had to. Woke up in the sweat just, but but once I got my body temperature up, it stopped. But I was like, I was trying to walk. I was walking to the to turn the heat on. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> shaking like a rock, bro. I was like, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. I was like, let me text somebody, tell them like what's going on. But I couldn't like text. I'm just shaking. I'm just like, oh snap, this is bad. Dang. Yeah, the vaccine has some uh, pretty crazy side effects when you first when you first get them. The first day or two is just the worst. But I should be good going forward. Now I just got yeah, feel sore right here. A lot Dang. of people get the shot in this one arm, and they get the other shot in the other arm. You got it in the same arm? I got it in the same arm. So I was just like, cause I didn't feel this no more. It was gone by then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. That was now they talking about a booster? Look, man. I'm fully vaccinated. I don't need no booster. I'm done. Man, they just found another variant. Cap. They found another variant in uh in, in, in Europe. Y'all need to stop doing stuff in Europe, man. Y'all messing up. And that's in part of Africa, too. Dang. You know they got tribes in Africa? Well, they got their titties out all the time. They just walk around with their titties out. I might get on the plane or something. They had a whole like, um, you know, a graduation ceremony. Yeah. People walking around with their titties out with their phones, just taking pictures of the people they got the, they got the, you know, graduated. It's like watching a graduation ceremony with every woman, mostly every woman besides the older women got their titties out. The older women don't I think do? it's I think it's all the virgins got their titties out. But if, if you're not if you're not a virgin, if you got a man, then you can finally be fully clothed, I think. That's crazy. Yeah. I think it's like a sign of I don't know, but it's a strong message, man, for women, you know? I just really feel strongly about the situation. And I'd be glad to help. Anything help that they how? need. Huh? Help to how? Help dress them, help navigate where they gotta go. If, if I see titties enough times, I'm gonna get. Nah, I'm not. I'm like, what? I was lying. <laughs> I, I thought I was telling the truth. Right. I was telling, stop. You're not telling. Good yeah, it's a whole. It's a tribe. It's That's a. Crazy, it's a culture. They they just be hanging. Hey. They just be kicking it like they don't like it. Ain't nothing like you know Western. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They be oh like this. They just be like, hey girl, how you doing? Titties hanging out. Everything. That's crazy. Mm hmm I forgot what it's called, but yeah. If it was any place that I would think it'd be like that, I'd probably say Africa. Yeah. Yeah, Africa. Hey man, I might have to move there. South Africa, here I come. Man, be the next uh Crocodile Dundee. Hey, I'm like capturing all type of stuff. Wow titties. <laughs> right, let me stop. Uh yeah, we back with some more One Piece. Um we got Sanji. We watched this technically considered a mixed. Mixed cannon filler? Mixed cannon filler, yeah. So, 
If it's gonna be some flashbacks, we're gonna be skipping it. What's the point? Yeah. What y'all, y'all want to see us wow over the stuff we wowed over already? Let's just let's just be real. Well, let's see something crazy. Like the last time we seen Sanji flashback, it was like nostalgia and it was like yeah. dope. But normally, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it's it out weird, of it yeah. so we can get to the next the next part. But yeah, Sanji on his way to the tea party. I thought it would have been so cool if he would have knocked Cracker into the tea party as a message that he here just to mess a tea party up That'd that would have been, been so fire to me That'd but fire. i'm pretty sure Oda know what he's doing you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm just saying add me to the writing team go crazy people be like you mess it up like y'all don't know what i do man i i i wrote avatar before avatar was even written what huh i had the idea of avatar before it was even brought brought to screen that's what's up my mm-hmm. grandma had a typewriter and I used to type on the typewriter and I had my show was called Elements. It wasn't called Avatar, it was called Elements. And it was these teenagers, and these teenagers had power over a, a, a element, fire, earth, all that stuff. And I was typing it all on the typewriter. Interesting. Yeah. That's what's up. My grandma passed and then I stopped typing. Yeah, that's what's up. Like something yep. do every day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, so uh Luffy defeated Cracker. Mopped him. No, I ain't gonna say mop. Yeah, after he had to be helped, but it kinda Somebody said, um Somebody said, I think I saw a comment. I don't know if it was on Patreon or YouTube. And they was talking about the importance of like uh Mihawk saying like he's he gonna be very strong because he has the ability to to foresee he he has the ability to gather people around him oh yeah, yeah and i think it finally clicked to me what that meant because i feel like not one person can become the king of pirates without some type of help you can't just become the king of pirates by yourself yeah you have to have people to help you and it, it, it definitely resonated because when he's fighting Cracker, had he had uh, had he not had Nami, he would have lost. And it's 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 more more of a testament. Like the more people you bring around, the easier it is to reach your goal. Yeah. So yeah, it, it uh seeing that fight definitely put that that comment that Mihawk made into perspective. It, it, it kind of helped me out, helped me understand it a lot more. It's like damn, he need these people to help him do stuff. Yeah. You, you got Robin, the cipher and the pony glitch. You got uh Frankie building the ship making it tip-top shape you got sanji you know what i'm saying providing the food yeah man being your bodyguard helping you out you know zoro saying saying being a muscle not you got nami navigating chopper being a doctor you can't you can't do everything yourself so yeah yeah it definitely, definitely brought more light to that even brooke with the music man yeah all this stuff helps you know yeah that's gotta what build I, that morale that's what i like to look at like in real life like with businesses mm-hmm. corporations or not even just corporations, but anything. It's like it's a team. Yeah, team effort. Like it might be a CEO, but at the end of the day, it's hundreds of people working together trying to make something happen. And mm-hmm. Can't do nothing by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's dope. But yeah, that's dope, man. Lucky hey, Luke. family. Lucky Luke. Lives. Yeah, but uh, we about to continue on with this um story going forward. Uh, we about to get to this tea party, hopefully. Excuse me, and go from there. Facts. Let's get to it. Let's go. Let's run it up. This. Luffy don't win against Zoro. Uh, he don't win against Usopp. Like he got to go against Hanji. This gonna be like a Luffy and Usopp duel. I hope not. Free ride. Ain't no way we finna meet up with Sanji right now. I don't think so either. Hey, she's got a piece of glass in her hand. Just holding it. It's crazy how you how you running from this lady with a, a scythe and he's just giving them updates. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he came back. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit! Hurt my head. <laughs> Dang! 
I don't like this. I'm gonna be behind them or something. I don't know if I was in the same situation, I'd probably be more interested in getting Chopper back first. But I know we 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 kind of like at a standstill because cause we gotta hurry up. Yeah. But I don't care about that damn marriage. You you still my crew. I feel you on that. Man, burning off them burning off them calories, man. Wish my stomach go down like that. <laughs> same. That's why he's hungry all the goddamn time, bruh. Then he woke up. Well, Luffy be aware, bro. Luffy be aware. Observation. Damn. I did not expect this. And he got all his brothers with him. Facts. Sandy! <laughs> 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 trying to save him. He trying to save him? Yeah. He got to do what he got to do. I was trying to let the gray hair brother go ahead. And right. He was like, why him. you send me in there, man? He made it crazy. Right. God damn. They know how to show, know how to do some Dang, stuff. flashes through the whole shiznit. Dang. Next episode about to be crazy. Yo. I'm excited. That I'm was excited. wild. That was a good way to end that one. You know Dang, what I'm saying? He kicked my man's like that. Why do we gotta always fight his goddamn crew, bro? They be going through stuff. They they be going through stuff. Yeah. And only he can probably get them out. Sanji has to do this though. Yeah. What you does. like? Would you expect anything different from Sanji? Nah. Nah. His dad is there. His three brothers is there. Yeah. I know he know Luffy's strong. And he's like, they done, they done cap the bother me enough with people who I love. Let me just end this now. Yeah. Just get out of here, bro. Just get out of here. Not only even has Zeph, if they ain't find a way to get anybody from Straw Hat, Sanji gonna lose it, bro. Mm -hmm. He gonna lose it. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, this is crazy. But uh, I'm ready to get to the next episode. Bro. Same here. I, I kind of noticed something that's pretty cool. What? Because, um, it's like, just the the, uh, the title has Heartbreak in it. Mm. And we got 808, 808's and Heartbreak. Dang, that's true. That's pretty cool. That's true. That pretty Kanye. Dope. Oda's a Kanye fan. Facts. Confirmed. He said, get packing. But do you not know I beat Doflamingo? Boy, you better chill. Facts. We ain't trying to hurt you. Oh, he ain't yeah, going too far now. Like, damn, crazy. dude. He looked at Nami like that? No, he's serious. His father, like, damn, you got powers? Right. But his father should have saw this. He used it against him. Luffy gonna let him hit him? Mm. I understand you, Luffy, but damn, bro. Oh my god. He broke his face? Damn, Luffy recovered off that. Luffy, don't. He probably always wondered, like, how strong is this? <laughs> oh, that's that. That's it. Luffy, don't kill him, Luffy. Ah, oh, damn. Lost a tooth? He probably wanted to see if he was for real or not. Luffy acting like the Miriam. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to her right now. 
I'll tell you your name. <laughs> Yeah, leave. You paying for it. You even get kicked in the face twice. Hey, did two moves. Excuse me. <laughs> he don't even know that. Break up, Nami. We about to fight Zoro next. Well, we well, fought Zoro already. Remember? Was that serious though? I, I I count that as one of them, probably. You probably gotta fight him again. Golly! Goofy eating these mugs though. It just shows you Zora, I mean, uh, Sanji don't hold a candle to Luffy. His dad probably like, I knew this nigga was weak, man. God damn it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. That Celestial Dragon animation. Luffy not falling, bro. Bro, there's gotta be a world record for anything. <laughs> Three times? Oh my god, bro. They wild and die. They just like, drop another one, drop another one. <laughs> I found it funny how he don't want to punch Sanji, but he gave Usopp that work though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I know why, I know. I'm just joking, y'all. I feel you die. Damn. He ain't playing. Now you about to go for some crazy move. All right. What is this? I don't think he ever did this. What was all this when he was fighting Doflamingo? He did the spinning thing? Damn, yeah, Rock Lee. Were you still eating this? Oh. Man. Dang. I know all them like, he this strong? Oh, sh Right. Chill, Nami. Mm. Dang. I was trying to see how the hell, damn. Look at my man, bro, he's just torn. Damn. Ah! Dang. Dang, bro. Damn, you told her to shut up. You look like such a kid right there. Mm -hmm. Dang. Oh, shoot. Oh. Dang. Luffy, you don't know how to spit, bro. Ah, oh, you can hear it in his voice, bro. It's me. Hey. Oh man. God. That was geez. emotional, man. That was a that was an episode right there. I think I think I think this uh a resilient showing showing from Luffy, it definitely in, improved his rating for me as an MC. Like. I know he has the like the mind of like a seven year old to me, but he does like excel in like fighting and just having a resilience to like go above and beyond for his friends and stuff and who he care about. That type of stuff is just like unmatched to me. Yeah, his fighting uh, prowess and his like 
emotional awareness mm-hmm. is, is top notch, bro. Yeah, that is true. I agree. Um, but this episode was crazy, but a heartbreaking duel for sure. Like, what's this is one of the episodes, boy? Yeah, bro. Like Sanji, like actually seeing Sanji like break down too. Yeah, and stuff Luffy was saying was spitting, bro. He was yeah. spitting, bro. He's like, I'm gonna stay here. I'm, I'm gonna starve to death, man. I don't care. He said, I can't, I can't be king of pirates without you, bro. Yeah, but that's to me, it's like definition of loyalty. Like, no yeah. matter what, I'm gonna stick next to you. Like, I don't care because deep down, you know that type of person. You know who that person is. You exactly. know they going through something. You know that they just need like some help. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, bro, that was that was tough, bro. That was crazy. That was crazy episode. It was man. worth it. It was worth the watch. 808, man. Hey, good stuff on that one, Oda. What'd you think about, like, between Luffy versus, like, Usopp and then now Luffy versus Sanji? Like, they both gave, like, that emotional kind of weight to it. Mm-hmm. But, um, I don't want to compare the two because, like, they both was just really good in their own ways. But every time we fight our crew, bro, it's, it, the episode would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Whether it's a disagreement or he just he just battling because he's trying to save y'all and stuff like that. Yeah. I just feel like the emotions, it's 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 been a minute since I felt like emotional about yeah. about a One Piece episode and this definitely took the cake, man. It definitely took it. Literally in the whole cake island. Definitely took it. It's I been can a see minute. a lot of people crying out this, like mm-hmm. this is crazy. It's spitting, bro. Like, like, like you, you can hear it in his voice at the end. Like, I can't become the King of Pirates without you. Yeah. Like, it started to get, like, a little lighter and stuff. Yeah. And that stuff almost had me. I was like, you know? Get away, demon. This was a hey, fire episode. W episode. Yeah. It's 10 out of 10 episode, man. No matter how much <laughs> flashback was in it. But yeah. I know they got to build the aesthetics and stuff like that. And yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This came out 2017. Mm. Pretty dope. Four years ago. Well, five years ago now. That's about the time we started, right? Yeah. I mean, we started like 2018, I think. We started oh. 2018. Yeah, I think we started 2018. 2018, 2019, one of those. Yeah, man. Hey, crazy fire episode, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to check these videos out on our Patreon before you put them on YouTube. Thanks. I'm checking out. Peace. Peace.